Welcome to my SU News Channel. People reckon Putin has been replaced by body double for this sniper picture. Russian state television showed the Russian president joining in military exercises, including shooting a newly developed sniper rifle alongside warmly greeting recruits. But claims have been made that Putin may have outsourced the job to a doppelganger on account of his uncharacteristically friendly approach to the troops. The commander-in-chief was joined by his defense minister Sergei Shoigu as he shook hands with the soldiers forced to join, telling them good luck. His visit to the camp also contradicts reports that those who meet Putin must undergo two weeks of quarantine beforehand. Telegram channel General SVR said, Putin did not visit the military training ground of the Western Military District in the Ryazan region, and did not check the progress of the training of mobilized military personnel, as reported by numerous information resources. Citing official information from the Kremlin The video, which was seemingly filmed to help boost the morale of the newly draft soldiers, showed Putin, or the look-alike depending on who you believe, dressed in safety gear greeting a training camp in the Ryazan region. The Russian president was wearing ear protectors and safety glasses in an all-black outfit as he observed practical exercises for the newly drafted soldiers. These included fire drills, engineering and medical training lessons. However accompanying Putin was a sinister briefcase containing the codes to launch a nuclear attack remotely, also known as the nuclear football. It comes as fighting in Kherson escalates following Putin's declaration of martial law in the strategically important city. The state video comes as troops appear to be preparing for a major battle over the strategic southern city of Kherson, following Putin's illegitimate annexation and implementation of martial law. Both fighting and evacuations have been reported in the region as Moscow continues to launch more ruthless missile and drone attacks on critical infrastructure. President Volodymyr Zelensky's office said on Thursday that Ukrainian forces mounted 15 attacks on Russian military strongholds in the Kherson region. Russian-installed officials have urged residents to evacuate for their safety and to allow the military to build fortifications. Officials said 15,000 residents of an expected 60,000 had been relocated from the city and surrounding areas as of Thursday. Source, Metro.com Please like, share and subscribe to get more. Thank you for watching.